The political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniya, says his group has received a ceasefire proposal for the war on Gaza. There have been talks this week in Paris and in Washington on a possible deal to stop the fighting. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu insists he will not end the war without achieving all his goals. Haniya, meanwhile, says he'll travel to Cairo for further discussions. Mohammed Nazal is a member of Hamas's political bureau. He explained which conditions Hamas considers as non-negotiable. We told mediators that permanent ceasefire is our goal. Uh, we can't uh, accept a, a ceasefire pause for humanitarian reasons. We want a permanent ceasefire. Uh, secondly, we want uh, withdraw Israeli withdrawal from Gaza Strip. Without Israeli withdrawal, we can't also accept uh, this a new deal or a new a proposal. Thirdly, we want to allow the uh, humanitarian aid uh, to enter Gaza Strip because our people, they are suffering. We don't uh, reject any kind of uh, stages. Uh, but we want uh, uh, from both sides to release all uh, captives uh, in uh, Israeli prisoners and the captives uh, who are with the resistance uh, movement in Gaza Strip. So we are looking uh, to release all captives from both sides. We are looking for a permanent uh, ceasefire. But we can do it in the second stage, in the third stage. The very important point for us to reach to this permanent uh, ceasefire. Otherwise, it means the battle and the war between us and the Israeli troops will continue. We want ceasefire, permanent ceasefire, and it is useful for both sides, for Israelis and for the people of Palestine. Well, Prime Minister Netanyahu insists Israel will take an uncompromising approach. Speaking at an illegal settlement in the occupied West Bank, he said Israel will keep fighting until it achieves what he called absolute victory over Hamas. I hear statements about all kinds of deals, so I want to make it clear. We will not end this war without achieving all our goals, and that means the elimination of Hamas, the return of all our hostages, and a promise that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to Israel. We will not take the IDF out of the Gaza Strip, and we will not release thousands of terrorists. None of this will happen. What will happen? Absolute victory. Let's speak to Al Jazeera's Hamda Salhout about this. She joins us live from Occupied East Jerusalem. So, Hamda, tell us more about what Prime Minister Netanyahu has been saying about this ceasefire proposal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office releasing a statement saying that his position is clear, that there will be... Any, if any sort of deal were to happen, the Israelis are not going to give up large concessions, as reported by Israeli media. But additionally, they said that the war is going to continue until an absolute victory. The statement goes on to say that the Israeli military will not be withdrawing from Gaza and that thousands of Palestinian detainees in Israeli jails will not be released. It comes after the Israeli prime minister's defiant remarks at this religious institution at an illegal settlement in the occupied West Bank. Some of the attendees there are a crowd of conservatives and members of the far right. It comes after Itamar Ben-Vir, the country's national security minister, had released a statement saying that if the Israeli government enters a deal that he considers bad or not favorable to Israel, he said that it would be the dissolution of the coalition, essentially threatening to topple the Israeli government if some sort of deal that he says was bad were to be in place. But just a little while later, the opposition leader, Yair Lapid, probably the fiercest critic 
of Benjamin Netanyahu released a statement of his own saying that if there's a deal that brings back the captives, there will be some sort of safety net for the government, that the opposition will support Netanyahu in that way. So there's a lot of pressure on the Israeli prime minister from all directions, from the very top, from the war cabinet internationally, from the Americans, and also from his own coalition. Right. And a recent poll, TV poll in Israel, Hamda, suggests that public support for Netanyahu is slipping even further. That's exactly right. This poll is saying that if elections were held today, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu would not be the Prime Minister. This survey showed that only 23 percent of respondents would support Netanyahu, while 41 percent supported Benny Gantz for the premiership. It comes after a similar survey was held just earlier this month that saw 29 percent support for Netanyahu. So a six-point drop in less than a month just gives you an idea of how unpopular he is with this Israeli society because of how he's been conducting himself throughout this war. Some say he's not prioritizing the issue of the captives. Additionally, the same survey said that the anti-Netanyahu bloc, so the opposition, would have 68 seats if elections were held today, and Netanyahu and his coalition partners would only have 47. The Israeli prime minister has dismissed any sort of calls for a Elections during wartime, saying that they simply won't happen. Hamda, thank you very much for that. Hamda Salhu's life for us there in occupied East Jerusalem.